Hi, I'm Simone. I'm a cosplayer at Skymon Cosplay and I have bought this airbrush kit, the AS186 model that I will use for my cosplays. And I made this video about it and after I made the video I used the airbrush kit for body paint and uh, I have some additions that are at the end of the video. So have fun watching! Um, this is the box the set came in. As you can see it's not very large. It's padded with foam which protected all the items during shipping. Nothing was damaged. Um, the set itself cost £67 and the shipping was £25, so £98 in total, um, which is pretty cheap for a set like this. This is the compressor. As you can see, it's not very large. It's around 5 kilos, so it's not too heavy either. It has a 3 liter air tank, which is about enough to color the top part of my body. Um, it, all, it turns off and on automatically according to how much pressure it has which means that it lives longer and makes less noise. It came with a UK plug, so you might need to buy an adapter like I did. The set came with two airbrushes. The first one is a dual action side feed airbrush. The dual action means that it has a trigger that you can push up and down for air pressure and back and forth for paint amount. Side feed means that you have the paint in this bucket that uh, attaches to the side. Um, yeah. The second airbrush is also dual action, uh, but this one is bottom feed. It comes with two paint containers. The first one is this tub, which in my opinion is not very useful because the paint sort of tips out when I'm using it. Um, but the other one this little glass jar is very useful for a body paint because it contains a lot of paint. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how this uh, bottom feed airbrush works because that is my favorite one for body paint. I'm using this uh, paint. You can use any kind of body paint that is uh, fluid and meant to be used for the body. Um, let me just put it in here. The set came with a hose that connects the airbrush here to the, or that connects from the airbrush to the compressor, like so. And here. All right. This is the level of noise that the, air, the compressor makes. As you can hear, it's not that loud. I can talk normally without it overpowering my voice. Um, and it's probably not so loud that it would bother your neighbors much. And so now we wait for it to have the correct pr uh, pressure and then I'll try to spray it on my body. As you can see, it's really quick and easy. Um, it might be easier to have someone else do it on you. Um, the paint doesn't hurt or anything, it just tickles and it's a bit cold. Um, but otherwise, it's like any other uh, skin paint and it's really even once it dries out. Okay, so now you've seen the whole set, you've seen how it works. And now I would like to tell you about my experiences using this paint. As you can see, I was using a brand called um, Farbstark, which is German, and it's a really nice paint. Uh, I had one problem though. The pigments were a bit too, or the paint itself, I'm not sure, it was too thick for the airbrush, and it kept clogging up. 
which meant that every 10 minutes or so I had to stop painting and clean out the airbrush because paint wasn't coming out anymore. And when you're painting half a body, that extends the time that it, you need quite a lot. So in future I will find something to mix it with so it won't clog up the airbrush the same way. Uh, my second problem was that the compressor overheated while I was painting and it actually stopped working for half an hour or so which was crucial because I only had half an hour to finish my paint and I think it's because it was um, it was using high pressure constantly um, the fact that my airbrushes were clogging up probably added to the pressure that um, that it was using maybe that was what did it or maybe the compressor is just not strong enough to to paint constantly for like an hour or how long it took so in future I'll definitely make sure I have enough time that I can take like a 10 minute break where the compressor doesn't need to work just to avoid losing a whole half hour and the last thing that I want to mention is that I used water-based paint purely and uh, I did use a sealer um, but it was it wasn't very good and my paint actually rubbed off so much that we changed the photo shoot location so we wouldn't have to drive and ruin the, someone's car um, so in future I think I will go with alcohol or with um, oil-based paint and I'm definitely going to try to mix it with fixing spray mix uh, or spray a lot of fixing spray afterwards and just generally use a lot more fixing than I did because it's really necessary and um, that was my experience and um, maybe you've experienced something different it's just my opinion so I hope you like my introduction um, of this kit and also like hearing my experience and thank you for watching my video and have a nice day